crazy person. That was a very good pitch. Are you suddenly Fernando Valenzuela, or are you trying out for the hospital team? For your information, I happen to be spending the day with Mike. We're going to play a little catch. Hey, guy, you in the kitchen? No, he's not in the kitchen. He doesn't have to go to school today. I, I took the day off from the hospital so we could... Jimmy Barros and his dad came by to take him out. Well, Blackie doesn't have to go to school either, so maybe he can... He's gone. It. He was up, gone before I ever came down. Amy? I don't think it's her idea of a fun way to spend the day. No, I would take Amy to lunch. She's going to lunch with Claudia. Wedding plans. Great. Leslie, I had it all figured out. I was going to spend the day with the kids. Well, you know what they say about the best laid plans. Do you know how many calls I made just to change things around so I would be able to take the day off? Now, they walk out on me. Richard Weber, you are really incredibly self-centered. What are you talking about? Because I want to spend time with them? I remember very well the lecture you gave me last night about neglecting them. Yes, well, just because you suddenly decide that you're going to play daddy, you can't expect the whole world to come to a screeching halt. I don't expect that. Yes, you do. You think this whole family lives on your timetable. Guy can't win, can he? A guy can learn to be a little more considerate to tell other people if he is making plans that include them. Let's see, I didn't think. I mean, they're in school, That's right? That's it. You didn't think about much of anything lately except the clinic and Rose's plan. Well, that's not fair. No, it certainly isn't. Not to me and Blackie and Amy and Mike. Hey, I have been thinking about what you said last night. Really? I wasn't even aware you were listening. I didn't know what to say then. I have to th In fact, I have spent half the night thinking about what you said. And you're right about neglecting them. You are really right. And starting today, I want to spend some time with them. Well, then you should have given them a little notice. You're right about that, too. You're very right. I'm very sorry. So am I. They would have enjoyed spending the whole day with you. Well, I've blown it with them. Um, how about you? Uh, I'm, I'm working today as a doctor in a major hospital. I do that from time to time. <laughs> uh, can I make an appointment for lunch the cafeteria on your day off no i was thinking of something a little nicer say the floating rib what about it? well i've got kind of a busy day oh, busy day whose schedule is too busy to plan things now hmm? all right but just don't blame me if we have to rush one o'clock yeah i'll i'll try to make it well, I'll, I'll come to the hospital okay be kept in Okay, and listen, don't, uh, don't sit around and feel sorry for yourself because nobody's abandoning you. It's just that nobody realized that you would suddenly decide you wanted to be a full-time daddy today. I thought you had the day off. I do. Can't stay away from us, huh? Pretend you don't see me. Better not stay too long. We'll put you to work. <laughs> Good afternoon. Is it all ready? Well, that's the hour I am supposed to pick up Leslie for lunch. <laughs> Good luck. Clinic's been swamped all morning. I just left her knee-deep in patients. Uh, nurse, could I have the Garrido chart, please? Sure. Seems like everyone decided to break bones over the Easter weekend. Well, oh, there's your wife now. Uh, uh, if you'll excuse me, sure. X-ray call. Yeah, right. Uh, you all set? Yeah, to put a cast on Mr. Cassidy. Yeah, you're not going to be able to make it. We are so busy up there that Alan and I couldn't even handle it alone. We had to call for two extra doctors. Well, I can wait. No, no, help. no, don't, 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 don't. Just, you go on ahead. I don't even know when I'm going to be able to take a break, honest. And I'm really sorry. There's robots report to clinic. Report to clinic. Dr. Conrad, call the lab on two. Hi. Hi. You want your usual? No, I already ate lunch. In fact, I ate it all alone at the floating rib. Well, I was supposed to have it with Leslie, but she had to cancel out at the last minute because uh. I had reservations. I thought I'd go ahead and use them. Haven't had any herb tea, though. I'd uh, okay. love a cup. Okay, you want them? Coming sure. Coming right up. Great, thank you. Well, why aren't you working today? Rose, I, I took the whole day off so I could spend it with the kids. Seems the kids had made prior plans. I didn't know about them. Straight, right? Yeah, it's fine, thank you. Well, why don't you just take that tea on over uh, to that table? Now, why don't you join me? I can't. I just like I'm running like a house of fire here. Well, I should take a couple minutes. In fact, better than that, why don't you take about an hour? We can talk about your plan. Go for a walk. It's a beautiful day. 
Oh, I'd really love to, but I just can't. I'm just too busy. As a matter of fact, I'm running your old room, and the person I'm running it to is upstairs now, so I gotta go. Oh, don't tell me you got a break. Finally. <laughs> well, if you'll excuse me, I better be going. Good luck. Busy day? Exhausting. Well, I've got just what you need. Right. A nice cup of tea. For me? How did you know that I wanted a cup of tea? I cannot tell a lie. I ordered an extra one to take back to my office, and then I realized I was over caffeine. Oh, well, thank you. The next one's on me. Enjoy. Um, I'm, I'm going to go over in the lounge, faint for a little while, and then drink this. Okay. You need me. Dr. Smith reports your emergency staff. Dr. Smith reports your emergency staff. Well, 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 I'd say that's just the lady I'm looking for. Hi. I have a great big favor to ask of you. Do I have to stand up to do it? Well, you know, you do. You certainly do. I just sat down. Oh, please, don't get up now. I don't think I can. What I want you to actually stand up for is my wedding. What? Would you be my matron of honor? Claudia? Please say yes. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, yes. Oh, of course, yes. Oh, Claudia. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I guess I should have told you sooner the wedding's only two weeks away. Well, goodness, I'm just so... I'm honored. I, I'm so pleased that you want me to do it. Of course I do. And, of course, there'll be plenty of time for you to pick out the right shoes and the perfect dress and everything. Oh, sure, two weeks. That's plenty of time. And Rick will be back from Chicago. It's perfect. It's perfect. Oh, all this excitement. There's something else I wanted to ask you. Yeah. While Rick's at the convention, will you be able to help us out with Rose's plan for the clinic? <laughs> Side. You want to go for that walk? Well, if you want to walk to the end of the pier with me, the fish boat should be, and I've got to pick up something for a night special. You're on. Uh, well, i got grease all over this. Listen, it'll just take me a second to change. Can you wait? Oh, sure. Go oh. ahead. Okay. Oh, there he is. Hello, Rick. You're just the man I want to see. You mean someone actually wants to deal with me one-to-one -to -one today? Great. Hi, Brian. What do you want? Glad to see you, too. My friend, I'd like you to be my... this man. Oh, uh, great. Uh, maybe one catch, though. You don't own a tux. <laughs> <laughs> no, I may not be in town. We already thought of that. We know you're going to Chicago. We plan the wedding the day after you come back. And I'm more flattered than ever. I'd be happy to, of course. It's gonna be a terrific day. And the clincher is we're gonna have the reception at the clinic and I'll bring the people back in mass. As long as everybody chips in and helps Rose with her plan while I'm gone. You bet. Even if they just trickle in a little bit, we've got Ruby, we've got Emma, and even Slick is going to pretend to be sick. We're just going to pass around the waterfront, and people will be back. That's fantastic. Hey, oh, my hi, lovely there, thing. Hi, oh, baby. Hi, hi Rick. You. Did you ask him? Did you ask her? I got a yes. So did I. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you. Leslie agreed to be my matron of honor. Of course, that means no one's going to look at the bride and groom right, now. Right, right. Oh, come Upstage on. for days. Every eye is going to be on the two of you, and I'm sure Leslie is just as... Just as happy as I am to have been asked. Thanks. Oh, thank you. She was pleased. And, of course, she said she'd be happy to help at the clinic while you're gone. That is a relief. You think this idea will really work? It's got to. we got to keep our... Yeah, Hi. Hi, honey. I'd Hi. love to stop and talk with you, but I gotta go. You ready? Sure. Right. Okay. Bye-bye. Right. Thanks again. Yeah. Uh, as you would say, honey, it's none of our business where they went or what they're up to, right? Right. Right. Okay, let's have a seat here. Get your hands on. Anybody home? Hey, I was right behind you. I beeped, but I guess you didn't hear me. Don't say it. Don't say beep or beeper. I've had enough. I, uh, brought you a present. Really? Yeah. Oh, how nice. I could sure use a present. Fish? Yeah, that's right off the dock. Right off the boat. Right off? What am I supposed to do with this? Leslie, I would think you would uh, make dinner with it. Oh, what a cute present. I've never cleaned a fish in my life. Yeah, but I have a lot of things. You're a doctor. Come on, I'll show you. Never? 
such interesting ideas you have to print. Mm -hmm. Smells fishy. You're supposed to smell fishy. Nurse, I'm going to need an apron, please. Oh. I don't think, you know, actually, when you get right down to it, that I'm really ready for this. If I will do everything. Why don't you sit down and just watch, okay? That's a good idea. Good. You know, today turned out a lot better than I thought it would. Really? In what way? Well, I had more time to think, Leslie, and I really needed to think because... A lot of people in their life, they forget at times where they're going, you know, what their goals are, their priorities, and yeah, well, that what they happens. want in life. It happens, it does. Yeah, well, you were right about what you said last night. You were really right. I have neglected the kids, and starting today, I'm going to spend a lot more time with them. Yeah, well, well, they do say that, uh, you know, seeing what the problem is, is like halfway to solving it. Yeah, well, I realize there's a problem, but I also know how much I love them, and how much I love you, and that love is never going to change. I think the big problem with me is the fact that I get off on some crusade and I, you know, I'm too busy saving the world and I forget about the kids. So what are you going to do about it? There's one thing that uh, I can't do, and that is to sacrifice one for the other. You think you can have both? Yes, Leslie. If everybody knows just how important each one is, what I went into medicine for was things like the clinic, where I could help people on a one-to-one -one basis, people who maybe had given up hope of ever being helped. Now, if I have to turn my back on them, I might as well give up medicine. Rick, nobody wants you to do that. Yeah, but I've also got to spend time with the kids. You're right, and I'm going to do it. And I promise you that, and just as soon as they walk in this house, I'm going to tell them the same thing. Well, see, that's a good start. I mean, other than that, I don't know what else I can do. Well, I'll tell you one thing you could do. You could, um, you could try to keep the mess, you know, off the counter and on the board, perhaps. Leslie, yes. we're going to make this thing work. Well, it's kind of too bad you have to go off to the conference right away. No, it's not. I thought about that, and I'll take the time. I'll use it to kind of plot out how I'm going to balance my life. Okay. Then I'll take the time to figure out how I can balance my life so I can help out more in the clinic. Will you? Yeah. I realize that um, this is something that's important to both of us. What's important is how much I love you. How much I love the whole family. And even thinking that there's a possibility that I could lose you, that scares me to death. You're not going to lose me. I promise. On one condition. That the next time you bring me a present of fish, it comes from the supermarket, wrapped up in plastic, or I will be forced to divorce you. I promise. And one other thing. Yes, ma'am. I love you very much, too. 